Hello! Welcome to the second commentary track for the Fractoplots. I'm Robert Binfer. I am Xenon Fathom. I directed and wrote the movie. I didn't do much here. <laughs> you really didn't do anything. I don't know why you're here. <laughs> this is this is the debut of my uh of my my uh my pen name, by the way. What do you think about it? I like it. Yeah. I didn't know you were gonna do that. Yeah, this is this is Jason Steele. I'm 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 also at <laughs> at some point gonna be gonna be known as Xenon Fathom. <laughs> really? Yeah, so I gotta write a bunch of uh, erotic romance novels and uh, write them under the name Xenon Fathom. I thought you were gonna keep that up through the whole commentary. I thought you were pulling a fast one on me. <laughs> no, no, like, no. Oh, oh God, now I gotta improv. <laughs> We're so good at that. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that in uh, <laughs> on your commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Jason Steele. He plays the voice of uh, of Stephen and uh, Laura's father. Yeah, Laura's father is actually already famous on YouTube. People are already going on my Facebook and quoting that. Yeah, people. So people are going crazy for maybe Laura's that father. Means people will buy the movie. By the way, what is what is? I was wondering. You probably an what? you probably answered this already in your other commentary. Oh, my other commentary sucks. What what is that UFO thing? That that's a model. It's a toy model. Ah. I actually already did. I already did answer this. Well, there you go. I'm I'm just gonna, gonna be. No, this whole commentary is just gonna be me asking questions that <laughs> that were already answered in the first commentary track. <laughs> Probably. No, yeah. When I was writing the script, it was I, I thought it was gonna be like CGI. I guess I thought I figured I was gonna find somebody who can make a CGI <laughs> UFO. <laughs> I think it's I think it's much better as like the uh it's the nineteen nineteen twenties movie style uh it's it's a twenty it, it was twenty bucks. I bought it off Amazon dot com, <laughs> spray painted it silver. There you go. Yeah, well it, it looks good. Well thank you. It's 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 a good prop. It's uh it's plastic. Yeah. That's you, that's your voice. That that is my voice. See I already covered this in the other commentary <laughs> too. This is I think about halfway through the movie, on the first commentary, I got tired and stopped uh, talking about anything interesting. So that's, mm. I think up until that point, everything will be things that I talked about in the other commentary. Yeah. Well, this is, uh, I, I enjoyed this movie, Robert. You, you, oh, you yeah. did a... Oh, uh, yeah. How many times did you, didn't you watch it twice in one night? Yeah, so I ended up watching it again. Good. So you liked it that much. I liked it that much. <laughs> You said you were going to write a review for it on your blog, but you never did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, actually, I've been writing the review, so I'm going to post it uh, either tonight or tomorrow. Really? Is it that long? I thought you just, uh, like, I thought you were just excited about it when you saw it, and then, like, the next morning you realized. No, no, you no. You were I, overexcited, I, and you're like, no, I'm not actually going to. What am I going to do? I'm not going to talk about my, my friend's sock puppet movie that they made in his bedroom. What am I going to do? I'm not going to write a whole review. No, I was just busy. I was just busy today. I had I had stuff to do, Robert. <laughs> Busy with what? I, I you walked your dog before this. Yeah, yeah, I walked my dog. I had to walk my dog today. I didn't do anything. I, I'm, actually, I'm already back to animating a uh, clay claymation. Oh hey! Like throughout making this sock puppet movie, I was like, man, I can't wait to like <laughs> not have to put socks in my hands. And now, and now I realize, oh wait a minute, now I got to go back to animating blue clay people. Yeah. My life sucks, man. Yeah. But maybe people will buy this movie. Maybe they. Maybe a million people will buy this. If million people buy this movie, I will never make another movie again. By the way, I love I love all the ways you uh, <laughs> you made the low budget nature of this movie hilarious. The phone on a <laughs> stick with rubber bands. <laughs> this is about as low budget as you can get. <laughs> yeah. I said in the I said in the other commentary that I was originally I was going to green screen the phones and have them hover in the air. But I screw it. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that shit. Yeah. That's, that's, rubber that's, that's, on that's a, too much work. A stick. And uh, does this does does this look anything like any Chinese re uh, restaurant that you've ever been to? I don't know. This is the worst <laughs> set of the whole movie. Yeah, it's. I don't know what like, I was it's thinking. It's like uh, what is it? Like poster board that you drew lines it's, on? It's <laughs> I drew lines on. Like this doesn't look like a rest a Chinese restaurant. Maybe if I scribble stuff on it. Okay, I have that one candle on the <laughs> table. <laughs> I bought the yeah. I went out at like 3 a.m. and decided I should put a candle on the table. There should be a candle here. There should be a candle here. Uh, maybe that'll make up for the uh, the orange and green walls. It's the, it's the little uh, it's the little things, Robert. Uh, 
I filmed all that stuff in one day. Him lying in the bed. <laughs> and that's green powder for grass. Does that look like real grass? <laughs> kind of. It's 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 green, so I think that gets the the, the yeah, message across. I think across. you could you could tell what it is. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really good at set building. I'm new to the whole set building thing because you know my blue claymen, I know they never have sets. <laughs> no, I think honestly, I think it it turned out uh, it turned out exactly how it should have been. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad you think so. Because uh, it's like it kind of. I love, there used to be like there used to be like old like puppet shows on television, like old black and white like yeah. puppet shows. And this is basically how they looked. This yeah. is this is like this is like, like crap. A, a, an unintentional throwback. <laughs> well, I was kind of going for the low budget, you know, puppet show thing it, because I didn't really have a choice. Because <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to look like a low budget puppet show. But I I think I think everything the the whole visual style of this movie makes it makes it like twice as funny. So like, honestly, when I first told you a year ago. That I was gonna make a feature-length sock puppet movie. What did you think of the idea? <laughs> In all honesty, you know that you know that music video you did. Yeah. Twenty four eleven. Twenty four eleven. Yeah, I, th- I uh, honestly, all I could picture in my head was like a feature-length that, <laughs> like that one. Like every time you mentioned, <laughs> oh, every good. time you mentioned the movie, all I kept picturing in my head was that puppet, just, like running running like- around <laughs> like your backyard or something. <laughs> that, that's what the movie should have been. That's that's. <laughs> That's all I envisioned. <laughs> the movie should have just been that. It would have only taken like a week to make. Yeah, and then you sent me the, because uh, <laughs> you sent me the script because I didn't even uh, I didn't know what the movie was called. Yeah. I didn't know what the movie was called, and so you sent me the script, and I was doing something at the time, and so it took me like two weeks before I ended up opening it yeah. up to actually read it. But yeah. then I opened it up, and like the the thing, like it opens up the script, and like there's. At, right at the top is like the fractoplots and I'm like what the, what the hell is this <laughs> it's the it's my future Jason like, oh my god what is this gonna be <laughs> oh you read it yeah, yeah uh, I, I read I ended up you know I, I read through the script and it was it was hilarious and I was like wow this I, I cannot wait for this to be made because this, this sounds like it's gonna be funny <laughs> well, I'm glad you liked it it's not because uh, I mean it wasn't you know it's it's weird because <laughs> like when I watch, sometimes when I watch stuff of yours, like your music videos and and some of your other videos, you know, it it comes across, yeah. you know, it it comes across as hilarious but really stupid at the same time, and so it's weird when I when I read like a, a an actual script of yours and I I see just how how good you actually are at writing this this crazy dialogue. I can actually write. It surprises me sometimes when I when I when I see you do something. Then I'm like, holy like, crap! Uh, this guy, this guy actually has talent at this. <laughs> What's that? I actually have. Well, it's just you know, it, you mean it's screenwriting because so much of what you do is 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 you know, uh, is, yeah, so it's, it's, it's low budget. Stupid. Is you like in front of the camera, you like drawing drawing a picture of an elephant that ends up being like some sort of horrible monster or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's great that you do that, and then at the same time you so can much- also pull off stuff that's actually like really really good. Yeah, because there's you know there's there's two types of well, funny stuff you know there's the, there's the type of funny stuff you do that it's hilarious but you know nobody would would look at it and be like this is art. <laughs> and then there's other stuff. When I watch this, I I honestly think this is a this is a a good movie. This is this is uh, if I didn't know you and I came across this movie and watched it, I would be talking about it with people I know. I would be like, you got to see this thing. This is crazy. <laughs> Well, good. Good. I'm glad I didn't waste a year of my life on this thing. Seriously, seven. It took me seven months to shoot this stupid thing. Man, it is. It is great. You know, you, you gotta. You gotta print out business cards. This is like sock puppet movie maker on it, like, right, like a professional business card, like like with uh with embossed letterhead lettering on it. Like Robert Benford. I thought claymation was boring. I thought being the claymation guy was lame. Now I'm the sock puppet guy. I don't know which is worse. Yeah. It's a salad. <laughs> throwing the <laughs> throwing the salad. Man, this this this, this whole favorite. yeah this, this scene is great. This, this whole movie looks. <laughs> it's like because I read this in the script and it was hilarious and I voiced it and I I I thought it was gonna be, 
be funny, but then watching it is, is an entirely different thing. The screws in the mother's salad. <laughs> yeah. The, uh... <laughs> this is a screwed up The family. crazy way that her hair just, like, kind of lays there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't find a purple sock. Her, she's actually, it's actually a white sock spray painted purple. That's why she looks so. <laughs> I remember that. I put, because originally she was actually, she wasn't going to be a crazy character in the script. I don't know if you remember from the script, but she wasn't a crazy character. Yeah. And actually, I think in the original script, they had like a son. I don't know if you got that version. Uh, but I wrote him out. I don't, I don't remember. But I couldn't, I, I couldn't find a purple sock. <laughs> Which I did. I, I, could, I could find purple socks, but they were like, you know, those girl like ankle socks that go up yeah. to your ankle. And I needed longer socks, so I had to buy a white sock and spray paint it purple. And it looked like crap. <laughs> but <laughs> she looked great. I put her on my hand, <laughs> and she looked insane. <laughs> like, this is the scariest sock puppet I've ever made in my life. I don't know what. So I made her crazy. Well, there you go. And I was going to I was gonna have a, a, a woman do her voice. But I did it. Because she's crazy. Well, I, th I think the voice ended up being perfect. Well, thank you. How far are we? <laughs> <laughs> Not very far. <laughs> We're 11 minutes into the movie. No. <laughs> uh. I think I think this this is one of your better sets here. This this looks like this is probably it's probably the best <laughs> set in the whole movie. This looks like a garage. It actually it looks like a garage. I actually I built this. Uh, and see, he I built this thing. <laughs> That 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 uh, line delivery right there. That's what I would like to know. That that's one of my favorite line deliveries in this movie, Robert. No, yeah. really. I I have my TV muted because if I hear my voice talking, it it distracts me. That is what I would like to no, know. No, I, I know. That's your favorite line. No, it's not my favorite line. I just think you you it's... you you said that pretty. Like everything, everything in this movie, it's it's well, like you, you have like normal, normal dialogue lines that then when you say it, it it becomes something else entirely. It's my that, talent. That is your talent. And, and another thing, like with this movie being so low budget, like just him hammering that one piece of metal every time we see him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if you remember, originally in the script, he was actually, every time you see him in the garage, this uh, he was slowly building the spaceship. But then I guess I got lazy. Well, see, when that, I went that's to... the thing, because it's like if this movie yeah, had like, if you had like $100,000 to make this movie or something, that wouldn't... You would have had like a, a rocket in the back being built, <laughs> but because you didn't, <laughs> you know. had this. This it's so much funnier because you have this one piece of metal that he's just hitting with a hammer every time. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have to be every week? I think once a year is just fine. Oh yeah, let's just make it even harder for you to remember. Good idea. Well, people usually do but it. But people usually, uh. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. My friend is eating with us today. Uh, a friend? What friend? Jake! Oh god, I hate this set. I just hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. It's in I knew it was going to be in three scenes, too. It's in three scenes. Why didn't I put more effort into it? See, the great Why thing... I, the great thing... <laughs> wood. Wood or something. I should have like, used... This, this is going to be half the movie. <laughs> Poster, and I'll take a marker and write... <laughs> Write squiggly lines on it. I'm like, well, I already paid for the poster board. I'm just, <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> I think it does. It does have like this cool retro look to it, though. Yeah. I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I did the same. Yeah, with the spray paint, I did the same thing with the uh, with uh, Laura's sock puppet. That's also a white sock. Really. Spray painted pink. <laughs> Cause she looks weird. She doesn't really look like the other socks. <laughs> That's because she spray painted. Yeah. And I I inhaled a lot of spray paint during the production of this movie. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh. I have never used spray paint up until this movie, actually. Really. This is the first time I've ever used a spray paint. For the a first movie. time you've ever used spray paint. <laughs> yeah. I've never used it. I, mean, I don't. I usually don't put any effort into. You were. You weren't a hooligan don't, as a kid. Used, no, man. <laughs> You no, I mean, I was a good... I stayed inside to make claymations. What are you talking about? You didn't go to buildings and spray paint jets on the side? No. No, man. I'll get in trouble. So, what do you do? Your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. This guy. Uh, my friend Justin originally did his voice. 
but I ended up not liking it, so I dubbed over it. I felt kind of bad. But uh, This is art, Robert. You have to make the tough decisions with art. I know, he's in like three scenes. <laughs> but I didn't like his voice, so I, I changed it. Yeah. I dubbed over it. The gay half is for Mick. Yeah, you like that line. That, that's a funny, funny line. <laughs> I like that idea of just these aliens that they're they're not uh, they're not abducting him. They're just hanging out his window, just insulting him the whole time <laughs> for no reason. There's no reason for anything. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, that's great. Ah, uh, how far are we? Not very far. <laughs> This is actually my this is my third time watching this movie. Really? I watched it I watched it when I first uh, finished it and I watched it when doing the first commentary and this is my third time watching it like all the way through. Man, this is this is getting me want to make a make a low budget feature right now. Why don't you why don't you do it right now? I I yeah, I can do it while we're recording this commentary and then we can record a commentary for that movie right after this commentary. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do commentary over the script. This dad character is great. He is. He sh- I shouldn't have killed him off. So that's my biggest regret. I didn't know he was going to be so great. Like I knew. I, I figured you were going to do his voice. I didn't know if you were going to do Steven. I didn't know how many voices you were going to do. But I knew for sure that you were going to do him. But I didn't know you were going to be that good. That's my biggest regret of the movie. Is the, the whole movie should have just been about these two characters. Mick and, <laughs> Mick and Laura's father. This should have been the whole movie. <laughs> They're sitting at a table and you know something's going to happen. Yeah. But but I kill him in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, he, he dies pretty... His death scene is pretty epic, though, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just love the idea of this guy who's just like... Who, who views the <laughs> idea that he's a purse maker as like... That makes him some sort of king. <laughs> he is. He's a... <laughs> He's a successful you entrepreneur. You can't do this to me. I make purses. <laughs> he's an entrepreneur. A successful entrepreneur. <laughs> he is. He's, he's, yeah, built, he, he's built a yeah. purse empire. You, you know he abuses his wife. <laughs> That's probably why Laura ended up being such a bitch. Yeah, he's like... The whole he, psychology about that. I'm like, well, Laura's father's got to be a, an asshole if she's such a he, bitch. He's like, he's like this huge sadist. He's just like this complete control freak. <laughs> like, is. what are you doing? I'm eating. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's <laughs> just, just oh. a horribly evil character who just oh <laughs> uh, uh, is evil, and I kill him off too fast. And here's Steve with his whole peeing on people thing. Steve, yeah, I mentioned in the other commentary that I didn't, I wasn't able to find as many boxes as I needed, so I didn't have enough space. That's why all these shots are so tight. You're like right up on Steven's face right there, which makes it funny, I guess. I guess it's fun here. Yeah, see, that's another one of the things where your limitation kind of ended up being... Uh, it's funny, you're right up on his face. I, I, I needed, like, at un, least 20 un, more boxes. Uncomfortably close. Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to see the black. I wanted enough boxes to where it would fill up the whole screen, but... I think I think it's enough boxes. I, I think. What are those much. boxes? The, I don't know. I found them at Hobby Lobby. They're like little bitty boxes. I don't know what the hell they're for. <laughs> It's just the kind of thing, you know. Hobby Lobby has all this little crap. You don't know what the hell it's for. I need to find. I need to ex- find like a hobby store because I have like, there's like I'm glad it exists. There's the chain stores here, like uh, Michaels and Joanne. But I, Michaels and oh yeah, I've never been to Michaels. I can I can never find anything there. Uh, like I can find <laughs> that house. That house, that's, I forgot to mention in the other comedy, that house, that's actually the same house that I used for Laura's parents' house. I just spray painted it white. <laughs> really? And I used the other side. I just flipped it around because I was too lazy to go out and buy another <laughs> freaking model. And I, I figured it's going to be in the movie for like not even five seconds altogether. So <laughs> you should have, you should have built like an elaborate house set and just shown it for those three seconds. <laughs> like have this one <laughs> set that's like that you put the most work into and just show it for a moment. I should have. Wait, no, no. That's expensive. That mixed house, that's the only, uh... Mixed house is one of those big doll houses. And I think that house costed like 120 bucks. <laughs> because originally I was going to buy one of those houses for Laura's parents' house. Yeah. And I was actually... I wanted to put like M80s inside and actually make it like a real explosion. But I don't know anything about mm-hmm. that stuff. And I'd probably end up hurting myself. So I just... I think, it, I, I first, think it's hilarious that, first, uh, you know... You know, the... the 
freaking Mick, he's uh, everyone's complaining about him being a loser and he has no job and everything, but he lives in like the nicest house in the, in the movie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he lives in this big giant like. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I, can't, I already, I already know that. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, man. I couldn't, I couldn't find uh, all the other houses looked uh, like doll houses. I couldn't find. That's the only house that I could find. It's a low budget, man. Yeah, oh, here comes the death scene. Uh, notice that the cheese doesn't. As much as the you know screen is vibrating, the cheese is completely still. Uh, of course. They're eating. That's that's some sturdy cheese. They're eating grated <laughs> cheese for dinner. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, this looks ridiculous. <laughs> this is the. I spent. And they're, they're all dead. They're dead. There's, there's my special. Probably the only impressive special effect in this movie. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm new to the whole. This is also the first time I've used like I've tried to do like complex special effects. Like you're really good at it. You just released this, uh, this short, uh, <laughs> called a uh, Doctor Flabulous. And you're yeah, so, but it, I, got, I got. I remember freaking a hundred emails about that. When you released that, when you released that that uh, that movie, I was actually working on the final part where the ships were at the end, where they're in the UFO and the UFO's going down. Yeah. And I was working on those effects. And I looked at your effects, and it made me feel like <laughs> shit. You have like motion track, motion tracking, all that, all these sky replacements. <laughs> I'm looking at my ship like just falling across the sky. <laughs> Like, like uh, I think honestly, I think I think your stuff turned out pretty good. Oh, uh, there there wasn't like there were, there wasn't any time when I was looking at an effect and I was like that's crap, but it is crap. I I think it, I think it turned out good, and you know it it because it ma honestly like if you had, <laughs> that's the thing like if you had like uh, freaking industrial light and magic like style like super effects in here. It, w it totally would not match the fact that you have sock puppets in front of poster board. <laughs> or maybe it would make it funnier. Maybe it would make it more re ridiculous. Oh, that's Dom Fira, by the way. Oh, there, there you go. Yeah, you got you got tons of celebrity voices in here. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I got the Charlie the Unicorn guy and uh, the, 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 the Dr. Octoconopus guy. Yeah. Dr. Octoconopus. <laughs> Blah. Uh, that's a funny kid. I didn't know he was. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know he was that big of a deal. My my fans, when I said that Dom was gonna be in this movie, everybody freaked out. Like you Man, got guy, Dom Fira. I'm like, I don't have the heart. I don't. I'm still not sure if I should tell him that he's only in the movie for two minutes. Because it would, on one hand, it would sell DVDs. On the other hand, I would like to think I'm a good person, a nice, honest person. Yeah, don't don't tell anyone. Notice I notice how I didn't want to build a set for this scene, so I just that's my. You should have had him in more of the movie. That that guy's hilarious. I should have. He is hilarious. Hilarious. I should have had him play Jake Balls or something. <laughs> there you go. That that, that would have been perfect. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a bigger part in my next movie. <laughs> I swear. Oh yeah, Chris Paul Mary's at the beginning of this. You know Chris Paul Mary. You like Chris Paul Mary's yes. funny. Chris Paul Mary's funny. He does stand up. That's, that's another funny guy right there. The funny guy. We know a lot of funny guys. We do. And they're all in this movie. All eight of them. Oh, yeah. Jim Ether's in this movie. Don't worry. You didn't need that Man, that guy, I, I was so uh, happy when... Because when, when, uh, I, I, I remember Jim Ether's part, and I was like, that was great. But then, then the... Uh, yeah, the, then, then, it, then he comes up at the end, and I was like, holy crap, that's him again. Awesome. <laughs> More Jim Ether. More Jim Ether. Originally, uh, actually, or, I came or, down to a decision where I'm like, I can either have Dom play this part, or we're gonna have Jim Ether. <laughs> and I went with uh, Ether because he's just creepier. <laughs> or, he's or, or Scott, <laughs> which is his actual name, Scott. <laughs> or Scott. Scott. You, you think he wants people to know that, or does he care? That whatever he said, he sent me something like over the uh, like when I bought his food people cards, it came addressed from Scott. Oh really? It, every single time I've ordered one of his things, like one of his paintings or one of his everything, it always comes like from Scott, and I'm always confused. Maybe, maybe he's just uh, screwing with us. Maybe he's pulling a U. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. I have his preview. Uh, 
I have his preview for his movie at the beginning of this mo at the beginning of this DVD. Everyone should buy that movie. And get off my couch. You should. Oh yeah, you've seen it. Yeah. You're probably the only person I'm ever gonna know that has seen that movie. That movie that movie is great. There's nobody else on this planet that I'm ever gonna be able to discuss that movie with. That's probably true, unfortunately. It's it's a good movie. That is that is <laughs> That's one of those movies that, like, I, I like the movie so much, but I don't know anybody that I can show it to. <laughs> yeah, and Jim Ether, uh, he used to be on, like, Newgrounds. That's how I used to follow his uh, cartoons on Newgrounds. I don't know if I talked about this in any other commentary or not. I actually had to record the uh, first commentary twice. Really? Yeah. What happened? Well, uh... Ghosts? Yes, exactly. Ghosts. No, that the quality. I recorded the I recorded it the first time, and the quality was really bad. And I sounded like I was half asleep because you know, talk watching your own movie by yourself and talking about it into a microphone is really boring. Yeah. Like this commentary that we're doing right here is a lot better than the commentary that I did a couple days ago. That's that's why on on the. Uh, the compilation DVD I did, I didn't do any commentary by myself. Yeah. I, I just had, like, random, like, family members of mine who happened to be over at the time. I was like, you want to record some commentary tracks for movies you had nothing to do with? Yeah. Exactly. There's Jim. There you go. <laughs> of course, this sock puppet has to be creepy. <laughs> That's the thing with you, too. When I'm writing... When I'm writing the, a character, and I know you're going to play the voice, I can't help but make the character talk in a way that yeah, the, your characters usually act. Yeah, I, I, which, I, is probably why, which is probably why your, uh, your characters end up being so creepy. Yeah, I've been, I've been typecast. <laughs> typecasted as the, uh, the creepy uh, guy. Man, you know what I love about Jim Ether, though? What? I have absolutely no idea what he's like in real life. I, I, got I, an I, idea can't, from... I can't tell at all. Me neither. And lately, he like he used to have like a bunch of like funny stuff on YouTube, but lately, I guess he went crazy and deleted a bunch of it. Yeah, he went through his uh, then, he's like his 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 uh, whole artist thing. Like it's all crap, and he throws it all away and th throws his manuscript into a fire. I know. Now he just uh, now it's, he just uses his YouTube to promote his uh, onward to Calgary movie, which everyone should buy. Everyone should buy. I I I highly endorse that film. You should plug your own DVD while you're at it. Why were you... <laughs> and I put no... his preview at the beginning of the DVD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Film Cow Master Collection. <laughs> you, the whole reason why you I can, made this. You can, you can buy all of the, the movies that you can already see online for free. Exactly. <laughs> but you can, you can listen to, to, to great commentary. <laughs> Come on, you already bought a sock puppet movie. <laughs> yes, but at least this is original content. Well, that's true. I, I, <laughs> you know what? What pisses me off is that when I put I put that that scene up on YouTube to promote it, but there are actually some people that don't seem to realize that this is from a feature length film, and they actually think it's the beginning of a series. Hmm. So there's actually people out there waiting for from the second Fractoplots episode, <laughs> which is never going to come. <laughs> yeah. the, but you can buy the Fractoplots movie. That's yeah. right. There's already a movie. And I, I really hope this sells well. This this. This, does this deserves to sell well. If there's anything I've ever done that needs to sell well, it's this. I worked way too hard on this damn thing. <laughs> well, your, uh, <laughs> your, your Clay World uh, movie sold pretty decently. Oh, it sold really well. Maybe this movie sells half as well as that movie. <laughs> I'm not going to have to work for like a year. And then I can blow it all again. <laughs> no, I didn't blow it all. Uh, I blew a lot of it. <laughs> I'm trying, I, man, I remember. I, I, I have remember. I have this one. You were in that movie too. Yeah. Well, I I have this one memory of you, like doing this live stick cam thing, where like you have this like four way conference call going on your phone, oh, yeah. and you've got your phone inside your mouth, and your mom's behind you like yelling at you for like because because <laughs> it's not like it's not like a free call. You're paying like a, a huge rate. For yeah, this four-way yeah, conversation anyway. going on in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Where she cares my money. 
What, what was it? What, wasn't that like a over over two hundred dollars that bill ended up being? It was like some ridiculous. Uh, I amount. think I think so. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh. That's 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 where your uh, your clay world money went. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, and you enjoy. That was, oh yeah, but speaking of spending stupid money, spending money on stupid things, you enjoyed your uh, birthday presents. Oh yes, my my giant John Goodman poster. I bought him a giant John Goodman poster for his birthday. Not, not just John I, Goodman, just John Goodman's face. Just his <laughs> it's face. only his face. Just his face. Where are you gonna Where are you gonna and put the, you put that thing up yet? I'm ready. I'm ready. No, I haven't put, put it up, up yet. Somewhere. I want I want to find like a place where I can put it where it's not immediately obvious, but like where someone who 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 would be in my house at some point would see it and just just notice it and be like, huh? <laughs> I guess he really likes John Goodman. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Yeah, and uh, I, for I forgot what you got me. You got me. Uh... <laughs> what the hell did you get me? I forgot. Oh yeah, you got me. Uh... Zardos. No, that was that was that was the previous year. Yeah, that was no, that was a couple of years ago. And last year you bought me the uh, the nineteen. Yeah, that year was the Batmobile. Batmobile. Yeah. This year, no, I got you a uh, green porno. Oh, that's right, green porno. Have you watched that yet? No, I have not. Oh my actually. god, you it, need it slipped my mind. You, you, I've been too busy working on my sock movie. <laughs> here's uh here's Mick's mansion. <laughs> He's such a loser. His, his giant gonna make house, something? his two story Wait. house he has here. When are you gonna make something of yourself, Mick? <laughs> you go out how much money does he get paid? <laughs> you a loser. Oh man. Uh, we're, we're not even talking about the movie. No, no, not really. Well, you know, they have the director's commentary. I'm sure you talked about the movie there. Yeah, well, more or less, yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. But this time, I'm not going to leave you in a pool of cereal. I'm going to leave you in a pool of blood. And maybe even a little bit of semen. Let's end this. <laughs> My name is Jake. Jake Balls. <laughs> oh, that's me in my backyard uh, uh, having the spaceship on the string. <laughs> that's my budget. <laughs> oh, man. That's it, man. How many times do you see this? Remind you, have, you seen, have you seen the movie Kung Pao? Yeah, I have. Yeah, there's like a, a scene in there. Where where Steve Odekirk he was like out of money and so he literally took like a DV camera into his backyard. Oh yeah yeah yeah, so, yeah. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> we did where he did it in his backyard. Yeah, it's where where he, he like he gets that vision from that lion or whatever. Yeah, it's just literally yeah. him in his backyard with a with a camera. <laughs> exactly. Except with this, I had no money to begin with. To work with. Exactly. I have money. I, I have money. I just don't want to spend it on a stupid sock movie. I don't even know if I'm gonna make money. Back. I'm out buying like designer jeans and stuff. <laughs> Get them. By the way, I like you know you like this set. Yeah. It's red. This is like the third. Uh, it's like the. I think this is still like the first week. This is like the third thing that I shot. The first thing that I shot was the bedroom scenes. The second thing that I shot was the backyard scenes, and this is the third. <laughs> After you pay me the two hundred dollars for just sitting here at my giant iPhone on the desk, <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of scale issues in this movie. I like how like it. it this... I like how the first time you see a cell phone being used, it looks like a like a like an MS Paint overlay or something. It's it's yeah. like this square like you're getting a call thing. But then when you when when the iPhone that right yeah, there right there yeah <laughs> that looks like shit. But then when the iPhone's being used, you actually just use the iPhone display. I don't. <laughs> so you have. <laughs> I suck, man. I'm not very good. Who cares? Hey, man. They already gave me the 15 bucks for the movie. Here you go. No, I'll have to touch that up. There's a few effects that I want to touch up I'm, later. I'm so on, glad you, know, you used that take. Oh, cool. My favorite. To <laughs> go. Died. Yeah. What happened? I was. I was wondering what takes of all this stuff you were gonna use. And I'm. I'm glad you used the. The angry, my favorite take. <laughs> he loves his spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, this scene wasn't originally not in the movie. This was added in like halfway through. I already talked about that. So maybe maybe my first commentary wasn't so bad because there's a lot of stuff that Man, I'm talking is, about. This is that... some Transformers stuff here. This is some crazy, this crazy special effects going on. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the the the, the car landing. <laughs> uh shit, that was yeah, that was my back porch. Yeah, it was seven AM. I probably should have waited. You waited a little more for the sun to go up because the lighting sucks. You know what I just remembered while while watching that scene? What? That's like the same way they filmed the uh, New York getting destroyed scene in Independence Day. Really? They had like little uh, like uh, like model cars that they blew up. Except they actually blew them up. They didn't just put <laughs> yeah. They actually had explosions like... <laughs> over them. <laughs> they actually had explosions going off. Yeah, but that's what they did. They just filmed in they... slow mo, like uh, like probably model cars better. being blown up. And flipped over and stuff. It probably looked real. <laughs> yeah. I love this. This this her surrounded by candles just laying there. Yeah, you mentioned this. You really it's, like this. This this is hilarious. This 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 sad sock puppet in despair just laying there with this crazy sad music in the background every time you see her with the violins and stuff. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is just so funny. What a stupid movie. This is a stupid movie. This is great. I love, I love how Mick has a picture of himself on the wall back there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, well, I need to put something on Not the wall here. I guess. <laughs> it shows. Oh yeah, I wanted to make it clear in the in the in the movie that he's all he spends so much time watching TV by himself, and he's never with his girlfriend <laughs> except like maybe like once a week. Well, he hates his that's girlfriend, his and she hates him. They hate like, each that's, other. That's, that's one of my favorite conversations at the end where, like, they're about to die. And he's like, I'm know, breaking up to... with you. And she's totally fine with it. She's like, okay, I hate you too. <laughs> I wanted to do the opposite, you know, in movies at the end. That's when the girl, when they're like, you know, at the climax, when the, the guy and the girl, they're like, I love you. But I did the opposite where it's like, you know, it's not working out. I, I love that scene because as, as, as soon as he's like, I'm breaking you. up with you, I was totally expecting, like, the stereotypical, like, she would be like, what? <laughs> No, but man. no, no. She was, <laughs> she was totally sister. okay with it. <laughs> oh man, that's that's what she wants as well. Nikki wasn't even Nikki wasn't even originally going to play this voice. My friend Danielle was, and then Danielle was busy. I I really like Nikki's voice in this. Hello? Yeah, it was kind of weird, but then it, but then it, the way I think of it, they're not really a happy couple anyway, so it's not like a weird thing. <laughs> and is it is it weird playing a, a, the uh, romantic lead to your sister? <laughs> Uh, it would be if these, you know, if they didn't hate each other, but I mean, if they were, uh, if they were like a, a, not a happy couple and they were like, <laughs> it would have been different. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have had her player. Then they would have been too weird. Okay. So here, here's our sex scene. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nikki, which uh, all of her lines are dubbed over by the, actually all the dialogue in this movie is dubbed over. I had to, that's why post-production took so long. No, Every no. line in the, I didn't use original dialogue for any of this movie. It's all dubbed over. No. Well, that's that's how you do it. Sammy Sammy was supposed to play uh, Timothy Stack. And I had no idea what that voice was going to be. <laughs> I just can't guess the do, voice that. You do like you do like it's like you doing an old person yeah. voice though. <laughs> because this yeah. was face Okay, what what is that's what his face looks like. Yeah, his face looks. That's exactly what his face looks like. That that's you're you're completely right. That's because originally he was supposed to talk like, ah, yeah, say I'm talking about Timothy Stacks, eh? It's not funny. He's got, so he's if got, you heard the just, if you heard the original audio for the scene, that's how he's talking. I just he's noticed. I just noticed like he has a clock on his wall and his desk. <laughs> yeah, he has two. Clocks. He's like the only props in that room are clocks. <laughs> I love how the clocks are the right scale, and then the iPhone's huge. <laughs> this is my budget. It's an eight hundred dollar budget. Is that how much this movie cost? I think. I think. I. I don't know. Uh, I know the royalty free music. I think each song costs like thirty bucks. This this, so, this scene. Uh, that's at least. This, this scene is great with a, like the drums in the background, and he he's going like <laughs> the same yeah. damn restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, no. it's perfect. Uh, uh, this is this is a, this is a good scene right here. What a ridiculous movie! Why did why are they at the restaurant? <laughs> why did they decide to go? Yeah, to the why restaurant? he's like? Why did they come to the restaurant to talk about how much they ate the restaurant? Oh, actually, no. There actually was a part that I actually cut out of this movie where uh, this is actually uh, you know because every week they have like an anniversary every week, uh, a weekly anniversary with his girlfriend. Yeah. But this week she actually. Uh, no, this week he actually remembers that it's her their uh no. their twenty uh, fourth week anniversary. He remembers and she doesn't show up. He remembers, but she doesn't show up. 
Hey, did I tell you I finished the rocket ship? Oh, no, you didn't tell me that. Oh, well, I finished my rocket ship. Well, congratulations. Have you tried it out yet? Uh, no. I've, I'm kind of afraid to. It's just been sitting there in my garage. Huh. I don't know when I'm going to try it out. I don't know if I ever will. Oh, yeah. I've been, I've been thinking of mailing you the, the sock puppets that I used for your voice. Cause, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. If I have them, then I'm just going to like have them buried somewhere. So, I'm, I'm, so if you receive uh, Laura's father and Steven in your mail, in, your, in a box, uh, that's why. <laughs> These two creepy sock puppets. What the hell is this? <laughs> I'm, th I'm thinking of sending Dom his uh, and Chris. Doctors and cops. Yeah, that'll that'll be awesome. And Jim Ether. Uh, I wonder what Jim Ether's gonna think of this movie. <laughs> I have no, see that that's the thing. It's it's I uh, Jim Ether. It's impossible to read that guy. I have no idea. All I know is I like everything Jim Ether has ever done. <laughs> Me too. I even have his alert movie. Isn't that weird? Because, yeah, I have I have it learned as well. I, I use the term movie very loosely. <laughs> his, his, his alert video project. Yeah. Oh, I hate this scene. I do not like how this scene looks. I kind of like outside. that. I like that fence, though. Yeah, the fence is good. I should have... I, I wanted to find, like, trees and stuff, but I can't... I didn't know where to find, like... Trees of like the right scale or anything, so I guess I just uh, said screw it. You know what? You know what kind of confused me? It, it, it's like as I'm watching this movie, and like as soon as we see like his model house and him in front of his model house, yeah, I was wondering why. Like at the beginning, when he goes out and looks up at the spaceship, why why you didn't put him in front of that? Because <laughs> it's like you have this amazing model house that you have. <laughs> But then you oh, base so many of the shots like you're you're showing like the the ground, which is this well, green yeah. powder. I know why it's still a stupid reason, but uh, like I said, I shot all the backyard scenes second, and that was before I had the house. Oh, yeah, I, did, I didn't have any idea w w what I was gonna do about the house because I didn't. I had to find a dollhouse that wasn't five hundred bucks because those houses are expensive. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know who does that for fun. I don't know who does that. I guess, man. If, know, I, if I went to someone's house and they're like, "This is my dollhouse. I've been meticulously making it." <laughs> here, here is the little furniture I have designed for my little people. Uh, <laughs> like, makes makes a terrible person here because it's like the guy's telling him, "If you don't hit me hard enough, I'm going to die." <laughs> and makes like, eh, well, you know, <laughs> he doesn't put any effort into it. Nobody's really right in this movie. Everybody's uh, either <laughs> stupid or a pussy. They're all they're all terrible people, and the head gets chopped off. That was that was a pretty good shot right there. Yeah, that was good. That, that was, was a good. That effect. was awesome. That was good. When I saw that, I was like, "Wow, that's." <laughs> Robert doesn't suck. That's 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 time, surprisingly man. good right there. You tell it's <laughs> like, he's like he's like a little kid. Like there's a monster, <laughs> so he goes to hide in his bed. <laughs> if I go under my blankets, they can't see me. <laughs> Big action scene. Now, look, do you see the feathers? Do you like the detail? Yeah. The feathers fly up when it hits I the know, bed. I saw that. See? It's the details. <laughs> <laughs> They're such a dicks. <laughs> They're not even, like, evil. <laughs> They're just assholes. Yep. Yep. No! 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 What? Laura, I need you to come over right now. No. Yes! I can't. Why? I feel like somebody took my guts out of Oh man, dubbing over this di dubbing over dialogue is the most boring <laughs> thing ever. Well, put your guts back in, because I need to talk to you. Right now. Man, I like I like everyone that you got to do voices for this. Well, good. Just everything. To There's no <laughs> nobody sucks. See, that, like that that right there, like that that's hilarious. Just this that shot of uh, of of her with her hair like all crazy. 
<laughs> it's great. It just looks funny. Yeah, this thing where she always had like messy hair. <laughs> I don't understand this scene at all, but it's funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, is, this is a mix. I love cheese ball scene. Uh, <laughs> This is the first time that, that you see her in his house in the whole movie. Yeah. And they're having an argument. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> I don't, I, this, this scene like comes out of nowhere. He's like suddenly mixed crazy and he has cheese balls like rubbed everywhere in his house. <laughs> a Robert Benfer film. It's a Cookie Monster moment. <laughs> cookie Monster. <laughs> That's all I think of. Ah, cookie. That's that stunt mick. Yeah. I had two mix made. One for the milk scene. Sure, stunt mick. And the, and the cheese, because I didn't want to get cheese all over the puppet that I was using. Yeah. No. This is this is crazy. <laughs> well, he brought her there to break up with her. Yeah. But he's too much of a pussy to do it, so instead he's acting like an ass. So like maybe she'll maybe she'll break up with him. Oh, I see. That's what's going on. I get it now. <laughs> That's what this whole scene is about. <laughs> I didn't understand see, that. This at is all. A, see, I have some deep. I can do deep screenwriting. <laughs> I I'll see. explain there's, everything there's, through dialogue. There's some uh, some subtext there. <laughs> yeah. Some some layers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how the aliens are doing like like haunted, haunted house ghost sounds. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> this, this movie is amazing, Robert. <laughs> you know what's happening right now? You know the movie Super Bad. Yeah. You know the little. You know the little kid when he goes up to. The, you know the little kid that draws the dicks. Yeah. Yeah, that kid right now is is talking to me on Skype. He's been bothering me for the last few months. <laughs> what? <laughs> the little kid from Super Bad who draws the dicks has become a fan of mine and Dom's. <laughs> I was talking to Dom on Skype. He brought this kid <laughs> into the Skype conversation. He's like, "You know who this is? This is, you know, the super bad. This is the kid who drew the dicks." And right now, he wants me to do voices for his for his uh, for his YouTube video now. Right now, see, look, look. Here's his Skype. Uh, I hope he doesn't see this. I feel bad. Hi, Robert. I know you won't reply, but hi, hi. I know you won't reply, but hi. You there? I want to say, Robert, even though you ignore me nonstop, I liked Clay World off the table. He probably is going to see this then. Uh, you know so he's going to buy this and listen to this commentary track. I just want to... Well, if he does... I've been, I've been busy with my movie. That's what I had to say. If he sees this. Oh, there's the bacon in the bed. That's that's one of the great mysteries of, of cinema history now. Why, why he sleeps with bacon. Yeah. The room is yellow. <laughs> I guess I ran out of colors to you. What room is this? What color is this room going to be? I guess it's a bright yellow you room. You've already seen a red room. You, you've already seen... I guess it'll be yellow. That one piece that he was hammering over and over again is now a sophisticated space shuttle. <laughs> yes. Exactly. I like this. Yeah, I like this, this set. This is a good set. This is a good set. I actually tried. This is actually just... It's just one wall, but it, it looks better than... In freaking restaurant. This is a good there's shot some, right here. What, what, there's some stock footage what, what, that I spent 40 bucks on. Oh, is that what that was? That was stock footage. I, 40 saw, bucks. I saw that and I was like, holy crap. How did Robert do that shot? He <laughs> was like, oh, I, 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 could, I couldn't have a CGI ship made, but I had a CGI Earth made. <laughs> that's 40 bucks right there. That 40, that's 40 bucks shot. 40, $40 stock footage shot. Where's the spaceship that took your girlfriend? I think it was heading north from my house. And by north, I mean up into space. Hey, Mick. What? I think this this whole climax in general was, was pretty well put together. Thank you. I had no idea how I was going to do all this. It, it turned out good. All the, all the UFO stuff, that's the last stuff that I shot. Because I'm like, I have no idea how I'm going to do this. <laughs> I, remember, I remember you messaging me as you were doing it. <laughs> as a, <laughs> yeah, this... <laughs> He has a radar. Uh, obvious stock footage radar. Uh, there you go. That's another 40 bucks. <laughs> Most expensive scene in the movie right here. <laughs> bought scraps. Went to went to Lowe's and bought a bunch of metal scraps and glued it to a poster board and spray painted the poster board silver. 
Oh man, it's, this this movie is is this is this is great. Ah, uh, this is worth your effort. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna. Uh, what was their plan anyway? What were they? Th- <laughs> they're gonna crash their spaceship into another spaceship in space. I know. What are they doing? <laughs> it's like they're in space, so let's go into space. <laughs> They were going to crash their spaceship. In fact, in the script, that's actually what they do. But obviously, I, I couldn't figure out how to do that. <laughs> they were actually, in the script, they actually plow through the walls and they fly. The, <laughs> the, it, it's all awesome and epic. And then I'm like, I, there's no way I'm going to film that. But I'll figure it out later. Well, this works. This works. The, the spaceship disappears. He's been working on a spaceship throughout the whole movie and it disappears. Like that. And that's a, that's a pull <laughs> duct tape to my desk. <laughs> If you were to like put the camera up just a little bit, that's when the poll ends. <laughs> All by yourself. Uh huh. Jeff, are you coming or not? And once again, the sock puppets are hilarious looking. Her with her <laughs> crazy hair and. <laughs> and him, I, I, don't, I don't know why nobody's done this before. I'm telling you, like all my friends, whenever I would tell them, I've been wanting to do this since I was 15. <laughs> all my friends would be like, "Oh, that's horrible. Why? Why are you gonna? Why do you want to do that? Why don't you just make like a short movie?" Like I'm telling you, stock puppets, man, for seventy minutes. This, this is this is this is genius because like because this they're stock <laughs> puppets, they're funny continuously. They're funny. You don't even have to be funny. Look at that. That's funny. <laughs> Look at that. Uh. Yeah, I, I was I was waiting to see how this was gonna look. I remember you uh, when you sent me the uh, screenshots of them. Finally, I was like, ah, I know. There you go. Mirrors for eyes. Perfect. <laughs> I bet it is. We have beautiful faces. Beautiful faces. Mmm. I, I love Jim Ether's uh, voice work here. Tom's a funny guy, but I think Jim... Jim did great. Nobody can be creepy like Jim. Or you. <laughs> I had no idea how I was going to do this scene. It's just poster board. It's the same material that I used for the Chinese restaurant, except I spray painted it silver. It, it totally looks right. It looks like metal, at least. <laughs> this is what all, like, like 50 spaceships looked like anyway. It was just, like, solid gray. It's metallic, they're, yeah, they're, metallic sort of background. In the original script, I don't know if you remember this. You probably don't. You read the script, like, a year ago. There was actually going to be three fractal plots. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the fire fractal plot that that's dead on yeah. the corner. <laughs> but I decided I didn't know how to do the fire effect. Like I tried to figure it out. But I'm just, <laughs> so you just have the character be dead. Yeah, originally. I don't know, Nick, I don't know the <laughs> like effect. So nobody was playing him anyway, so he's dead. But yeah, originally in the final fight scene, he's instead of just fighting shock, he's actually fighting two fractal plots at once. And and uh, meanwhile, uh, Razor. Practical shooting razors at him in the midst of all that. And there's no way I'm going to be able to film all this. You guys were right. My human mind could never understand this kind of logic. But now you're all up in our spaceship, embarrassing us. You couldn't just let it go. So now you're the little engine that was a dick. 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 I'm the little engine that's going to kick your ass. <laughs> Mick, you are a funny guy, but you can't win. So we're going to give you one last chance to leave. Actually, no, we aren't because we're bastards like that. You die now. Oh, snap. I am Shock Fractiplot. I like how she's asleep now. <laughs> your boyfriend's saving your life. You're asleep. <laughs> oh, what a horrible girlfriend. What a horrible human being. It's a pretty good effect there with the razors. Yeah. I'm surprised that didn't look like crap. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Some clever rewriting here. <laughs> so He's it's dead. Because it's sock puppets, it's just funny no matter what. It's just funny. Uh, you have like wonder, wonder twin powers or something. Um, Powers activate gemstone. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Ah, uh, 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 uh. You are being pecked now. Uh. Yeah, pecking and pecked. 
I love it when characters just announce what they're doing. <laughs> uh, my characters do that a lot. Yep, yep. There's a scorpion suplex. That's what the scorpion <laughs> suplex looks like. There's the German dolphin power bomb, right there. There's the fireman cradle slam without the cradle without the camel clutch. <laughs> you notice that the background kind of moves a little when he slams. Yeah. Uh, what a great movie. <laughs> this epic hey, shot. Nikki, hold the camera. I need. I need to, <laughs> these. It rotated around while these while I while I slammed my two hands together. <laughs> this is the whole reason I wanted to do this movie, which so I can have this final sock puppet battle. <laughs> it's right here. It's just me. <laughs> the final battle consists just my hands <laughs> hitting each around other. each other. It's your hands slapping each other. Man, how did he survive multiple blasts? <laughs> Those look really painful. I don't know, man. <laughs> like, he gets hit with it twice, but it's not doing any da actual noticeable damage. <laughs> oh, this guy's dead now. That, that was another... That was that was another good shot. That was a good shot. There's not a lot of good shots in this movie when they come. <laughs> when they come, they're surprising. I don't even care! I'm glad you killed him! Well, you're next! But... The only way you can kill me is... <laughs> like the guy just pauses to let him know exactly how he can be killed. <laughs> <laughs> this is cla this is retro Nox right here. I got I got a. <laughs> uh, right, right, this is, right, this is that, totally that, like that one, one of your uh, your your this claim, my... in, claim what, in scenes. That button. That, that button. That button. Right. Oh. Okay. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Could have worked a little harder on this shot. <laughs> I did it two ways. I did it where he was actually, where there actually was, you know, it wasn't like keyed or anything. And then this way ended up looking better, believe it or not. I didn't notice until the second time around that you would green screen that. Yeah. You didn't do a good job. Every, every, yeah, there we go. That oh, shot. No. Every, every movie like this needs a shot like that with a slow mo <laughs> character, ah! <laughs> character going, ah, and jumping for something. <laughs> Even a sock puppet movie. And of course, because that guy dies, the uh, the ship just decides to fall. <laughs> uh, I guess it was like a, I don't know, it was connected with them telepathetically or something. I don't know. <laughs> telepathetically. <laughs> uh, uh, it's another forty bucks. See, and while I was working on this, that's when you released your movie. You had like spaceships flying in the air off in the background, like so much detail. <laughs> yeah, I had like 40 ships in the background. Like, <laughs> and here I, I can't even do one spaceship. Uh, and this, they're breaking up with each other. They would have done this, nobody would have died in the first place. There we go, that was. Uh, that was yeah. His, his house is all ruined now. It's all ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Falls out of the uh, ship onto the ground. <laughs> I don't know I don't know how they survived that. They're in a spaceship with nothing but metal walls. <laughs> they falling over the like earth. over a hundred over a hundred miles an hour. Well, they are socks. Slamming it, yeah, that's true. They're <laughs> soft. They can handle it. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh, what a dorky movie. Not like the only time in the movie that she's nice, he decides to be a dick. Uh. It's okay, man. It happens. No, seriously. That was your spaceship. And I took your spaceship and flew it into an even bigger spaceship. Then I took that bigger spaceship and crashed it into the ground. Hey, man. I'm just glad you're not dating that skank anymore. Besides, I have a better spaceship now.
That's the moon girl. Yeah. He's going. <laughs> he's going to fly to his moon girl. <laughs> This was all the this, this whole thing I was laughing through because right? it was like <laughs> comes out of nowhere. Yeah, it's like I want to get to my moon girl. <laughs> this is the whole reason why I wanted to build a spaceship. Yeah, moon girl. Uh, moon girl. Uh, <laughs> a moon girl you can't the... possibly actually know about. <laughs> exactly. All of a all of a sudden he can fly the spaceship too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because like they were, they were. He was just saying, "Thanks for killing the only guys who could fly this," and then literally like a minute later, he's flying off in it. You're right. I should probably go back and reshoot that. Ah, nah. No, it's it's much more hilarious like this. <laughs> it's stupid. And this was written too. This mistake. <laughs> Whatever. This was written. This. T- I spent a month. Th- I spent two months working on the script. You you would not believe it. <laughs> ah, the hugging. Sock puppets hugging. Everything that you would ever want to see a sock puppet do. Yep. They do in this movie. Sock puppet hugging. Sock puppet humping a couch. Sock puppet getting his head cut off. Nick, it's Steve. <laughs> hey, Steve. Listen, we need you back. <laughs> Steve again. <laughs> Steve is just one of those characters. Every time you see him, it's just, you can't. <laughs> doesn't matter what he's saying. It's just funny. He's such a. All the, uh-oh. Yeah, see, you shouldn't have fired him. <laughs> he gets a fifty thousand dollar raise, by the way. Raise. Like how he's like, I don't know what to do, and then he describes in perfect detail exactly what needs to be done. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Pick them up again? I don't understand. <laughs> you were saying earlier, I'm a great screenwriter. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, it's you know you. It takes it takes talent to write. People saying stupid stuff and not have it sound like you're stupid. Yeah. So where it, it, you know, it's hard to write stupid people dialogue and not make it seem as if the writer is the one that's stupid. It's, <laughs> maybe it's, I it's, am. It's di- <laughs> Look, maybe I am stupid. Look at this. Uh, uh, I don't know anybody else who would have had the patience to do this, though. So maybe maybe I'm not dumb. <laughs> Or maybe I'm dumb and patient. Is that That's another 40 bucks, 40, 40 bucks another right 40 there. 40 bucks. <laughs> 40 bucks. <laughs> uh, oh, I did the voices. There you go. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, the original line uh, of the ending that I changed because, you know, kids are going to see this and I didn't want to go too far. But you know where he says, uh, I love you, Earth, but not as much as I love moon girls. The original line was, I love you, Earth, but not as much as I love moon pussy. Oh. And he flies off into space. <laughs> and so you, you edited it out, but then said it in the commentary, so people are going to hear it oh, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally defeating yeah. your, your, your self-editing. I'll say <laughs> shit. I'll have a... I'll name a character Balls, but I'm not going to say pussy. Uh, <laughs> my logic... This movie is a perfect example of my logic. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my sock puppet movie. There you go. I don't I don't know if there's been another sock puppet feature. I we don't even know if this I might actually be the first one. This might be the first one. This might not be. This there is, might there might have been some weird Italian art film that was made with sock puppets. Yeah, probably. This is the first, this is the unofficial first sock puppet movie ever made. <laughs> Even if it's not the first, though, this is probably, like, one among maybe two or three, so... It's probably gonna be the most well-known one. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, cause like, <laughs> because, like, has... because of the audience that you have, this is probably gonna be the most watched sock puppet movie of all time. I've accomplished something. <laughs> there you go. The most... The most successful sock puppet movie ever made. Oh, I remember I remember the first week of production that I started on this. That's when you released your sock puppet movie on the YouTube. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jason. Because my fans didn't know about this movie. I kept it secret. <laughs> like, oh, great. So now when I... Your fans are such assholes that when I put this well, cause out... Because I remember we were, t- <laughs> we were talking uh, <laughs> on one of the Noxcast episodes. Yeah... And and you said like because we were talking about I about like, the Socktopia or whatever, 
And I know you said that you wanted to do a sock puppet feature, and I was saying that I wanted to do, like, a, I, I didn't, I certainly did not want to do a sock puppet feature. That's a crazy idea. Yeah, don't do it. But then I don't needed to it. film something for this contest thing that yeah. my cousin was doing, and I did the sock puppet short, completely forgetting that you were doing a sock puppet feature. Yeah. But... And now people are going to think... I, I, I thought people. Well, I thought people were gonna be like, ah, you got no, they're, they're, they're not, no one remembers. But no, nobody, nobody has said that. Nobody yeah. remembers. You wouldn't dare do something stupid like this, and you shouldn't do this either. <laughs> well, there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, commentary track two. I'm Robert Benford. I'm Jason Steele, Xenon Fathom. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. There's my T-Rex. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right, goodbye.